going to do the Avengers movie. Now, <clears throat> Avengers, the Avengers movie, I have seen, I have seen, uh, Captain America 4, Iron Man 2, and Hulk, Incredible Hulk. Now, on to plot. So, the Tesseract has gone critical, and now comes Loki. And then what Loki does is fires, f finding, shooting, and hypnotizes land control, Hawkeye, and, well, hypnotizes Hawkeye, and he, uh, he, um, Uh, he, uh, um, he, he, uh, um, uh, oh yeah, he, they fought on Hawkeye, and they know that this Fred is too dangerous to handle alone. So they need, they need, um, they need it, they needed the help of Start the Avengers Project. The first person that was initiated was, was, um, was ah uh, was Black Widow? Well, she was fighting this Russian dude general. The second was the Hulk. No, <clears throat> they do it as him as Bruce Bruce Banner. And and uh, they do it as Bruce. Um, they do it as Bruce Banner. It would have been cooler <coughs> if they did it as a Hulk and try to chase after Hulk and that sort of thing and get him to calm down. But I think that would take away from the um take away from the uh the whole plot and it would take twenty minutes to just try to calm down the Hulk and that sort of thing. So they had to do it as Bruce Banner. Next is Iron Man and Captain America, who has been already on the Avengers. The team is ex uh, assembled and well, they go to Germany to fight. They uh, have a brief fight with Loki. Loki surrenders. And then... Four comes into battle. And then... Four comes into battle. Iron Man takes him down. Tries to take him down. And they have a fight. And then it... Then it... Ends... That ends there. And... Four joins the um, Avengers, and they're on the helicator. Hell, hellier, hellier, uh, hell, 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 carrier. And well, a heated discussion has rose 
Loki's in prison. Well, Loki's in prison and they came in to capture the Hulk. And they have a heated discussion and then what happens is they get attacked by um by Hawkeye and the huge battle of the huge battle uh, occurs and people are shooting at each other. Dr. Banner turns into the Hulk. And then Iron Man and Captain America are, fight, are fixing the um fixing the uh Helicarrier. Then afterwards, they realized, oh, um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, um, maybe Loki was just trying to play us. He's trying to get in a grand stage. Oh, yeah, and Loki escapes. Grand stage, and. Maybe they're just trying, he's trying to do something. And then, what happens is, they go to New York. Well, Iron Man goes to New York. Talks to Loki, he was like, That's a, he pissed so many people, so many people off. He's thrown out of the building. And then, what happens is that these, well, alien, aliens come. You don't realize how epic this movie is until the very end. Because, as soon as these aliens come, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, they have this huge epic battle, epic battle, and he, um, they have, like, a, it's, like, one continuous battle for an, at least takes up an hour, and then that's, like, pretty much the rest of the movie, and then they defeat Loki, and he's, Sent back to Asgard. And I gotta say it was it was the most awesomest movie ever. Captain America well these guys were all about like Captain America is definitely one of those people that is a good leader to the Avengers because he's a he was a soldier during World War II. So, what are, what are soldiers are do is given orders. From, like, given orders as soldiers. So, his experience is being a, a muscular sh so, soldier is, um... His experience as this super soldier is that he could give orders to people and tell them what to do. Not just that, but uh, and also he um he also well, in the middle of the battle, like, he gets to all Avengers, the Hulk, the four, that guy, and Scarlett Johansson, and he tells for just basically tell, well, you have to get on that roof. You have to get on that roof and shoot some arrows. You have to, we have to fight them here on the ground. For 
you asked to do, you asked to, um, you asked to do, uh, get some, get the light, get lightning. Iron Man takes the battle to the skies. Alright, so you're just tell them like that. That sort of thing. So it just. So it just, uh. Just. Us. Um. Just tell them like that. That's how he's a good leader that way. And then. The X Men movies. You know, they had a lot of talk to talk, a lot of talk to talk, 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 talk. Then they have a battle at the end, but never like an hour long battle. Except for maybe in the third one they had like that, a huge battle, but not as like the Avengers. I like X Men movies. I've seen the recently, recently released one with Wolverine, but I don't really um. I just didn't think it had like a epic scale battle to it like this one did. Obviously, the people who made this knew that we wanted to have a huge summer blockbuster that pay that makes people pay your pay the uh ticket their tickets at the movie 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 theater and just fill up your cash. When I first saw this, I saw this when it came and first came out of my school went to see the uh, Avengers. And I was pretty amazed by it. It was awesome the first time. I don't know, this is one of those movies that just really has you know I expect it to be so epic and then it gets epic. It is one of those awesome, honest movies. Right to the Dark Knight Rises. I don't know. It was just... I didn't feel disappointed at all. Twice with the Dark Knight Rises and with the, um... The... Avengers. I feel satisfied. With that being said, I'll end my review here.